Hi and welcome back to my channel Early Bird TV. In today's video, I'll show you how I created these cute, simple nude fall nails. Hi and welcome and welcome back to my channel Early Bird TV. If you're new here, make sure you click the button below to subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new content. Now today, as promised, I'm going to be walking you through how I created these super cute, simple, clean, all new nails. You see here that I'm starting with a bit of nail prep. Um, I'm using I'm using Sally Hansen cuticle remover I apply that to my nails let it sit for 10 to 15 seconds and then I'm using an orange wood stick to push my cuticles back you'll see a little bit later that I also use cuticle nippers and a small pair of cuticle scissors to clip away any excess on a live cuticle um, when you do this part just make sure that you take your time do not cut into your living flesh because that will hurt and you will have lots of red juice all about so again just take your time and through this tutorial that'll kind of be a recurring theme all of this can be difficult but it also can be really easy if you just what take your time <laughs> Next, I'm pulling out my full cover soft gel nail tips, my nail prep dehydrator, my acid free primer, as well as my solid nail glue gel. I'm also using a gel base coat. I'm using my LED lamp and I'm also using a smaller LED lamp You'll see how I use this one a little later to make applying the full cover tips a little easier. So now that I've got those tools out, I'm continuing with a little bit more nail prep. Now I'm taking my 100, 180 grit nail file and I want to buff off any remaining um, cuticle that may be adhering to my nails, to my actual nail bed. You don't wanna do any aggressive filing um, and make any ridges or gouges in your nail just enough to take off any um, remaining skin or dead tissue um, and any product that you may have left over from a previous application now these nail tips are my absolute favorite you see here that I'm checking the sizing on them um, you want to make sure that your full cover tips fit from side wall to side wall. If they're a little shorter than your nail bed, that's fine. I'll show you later how we deal with that. But just make sure that they fit really well side wall to side wall. A little more about these nail tips. These are my favorite nail tips right now. Um, they have a beautiful C curve. I love that they're matte on both sides so I don't have to buff or scuff the inside curve. The length of them is perfect. The shape of them is perfect for me. Um, I like the thickness and the strength of them. So right now, yeah, I'm, I'm crushing on these particular nail tips. Kind of hard right now. <laughs> Once I've gotten all of my sizes out, I go in with my dehydrator to dehydrate all of my nail beds. Again, just another step to help ensure that I get um, longevity out of this set and um, that my nail beds are as pristine as possible when I apply these full cover tips. After applying the dehydrator and making sure that it's dry, 
you'll see me come back in and apply a very thin layer of nail primer once that nail primer is dry I'll come back in with a very thin layer of base coat You'll see here that I'm applying this base coat to my right hand. I am a very, very right-handed person, but I have learned how to apply nail products and paint my nails and all of that good stuff using my non-dominant hand. Uh, one of the biggest tricks to it that I figured out is to simply take your time. Just don't rush except the fact that you won't be able to work with your non-dominant hand as quickly as you can work with your dominant hand accept it and take your time however if you guys would like to see a detailed tutorial on how i paint my nails or how i've learned to use my non-dominant hand to take care of my nails leave me a comment below i'll love to make that uh, make that tutorial for you once i apply the base coat I'm going to cure that in my LED lamp for 30 seconds. And then once I cure that base coat, I'll come back and now I am going to apply the full cover nail tips with the solid gel. Now a couple of things with using the solid gel, it is pretty solid. Once you put the nails on, they typically don't move around unless you bump them or take them off. Um, there are a couple of ways to get the gel out of the jar. I use either the nail tip, later on you'll see me use an orange wood stick to take the gel out. But do not, you can even take it out with a gloved hand, but do not use your bare fingers to take out the nail gel. The oils in your hands can compromise, that's the word I'm looking for, can compromise the integrity of the adhesive. So don't use your bare hands, use the nail tip itself, use an orange wood stick, some people use um, a cuticle pusher, a metal cuticle pusher, uh, some people even use a gloved hand, just don't use your bare hand. Once you apply the nail tip with the solid gel, you want to press and make sure that that solid gel spreads over the entire surface of your natural nail. That helps ensure that your full cover tip will adhere well. It also helps ensure that you don't have any pockets of air or any empty pockets under the false nail that can harbor moisture, bacteria, dirt, grime, all that nastiness because you don't want stuff getting between your natural nail and your extension. You also notice that I, once I applied the full cover tip with the solid gel glue, that I came back in with that orange wood stick and cleaned up the excess material. You will, you will have some, more than likely you'll have some squeeze out. Just clean it out with an uh, orange wood stick or you'll see later on that I actually use a gel brush and a little bit of alcohol to clean that up. So again here, the key is to simply take your time. Scoop out enough gel. Um, Apply it to your nail tip toward the cuticle area. Press down to spread the gel. Clean up the excess material. And then under that small black lamp that I have on my desk, I'm flash curing it. Later on, you'll see that I put it in my larger LED lamp for a full cure.
now that they have all been flash cured I put them in my big LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds Once they come out of the lamp, this is what we're working with. And we repeat on the other hand. Now once they've cured, they're on and they're on pretty good, but now it's time for a little bit of cleanup and shaping. So now I'm using my same nail file. I'm using the 100 grit side. I think I'm using the 100 grit side. At least that's my goal, I think. And um, you just wanna clean up the edges. You wanna come down the sidewall, clean up and smooth the cuticle area. Now this can be done one of two ways. You can do it by hand with the nail file or if you're comfortable, you can use a nail drill. You can see here, I'm starting with the nail file. I usually use an, a hand file on my right hand because I'm using my non-dominant hand. Um, but then I also, you'll see later, here shortly actually, that I switched to using my nail drill. I'm using a medium grit ceramic bit and I use that to go around my nail bed. Um, the goal here is to make sure that you don't have any ledges or any raised areas and you want that product to transition to your natural nail smoothly if that makes sense you do you don't want to have like any huge lumps or bumps right at the cuticle because that'll make your application prone to lifting so you just want to go around again take your time you, you can do this again with a nail file or with a drill. I'm comfortable using a nail drill on myself, so that's what I do because it's a little bit faster for me. But if you're not comfortable using a nail drill, no problem. Use a nail file and just take your time. You want to get that product as smooth as possible so that you don't have lifting later on.
also mentioned previously in this video that if your full cover nail tips aren't long enough for your nail best that we would take care of that well here is where we will start to take care of that if your full cover nail tips are not long enough for your nail beds make sure that when you're filing that you file that transition smooth it might be a little abrupt it might look a little weird right now but just trust the process if your full cover tip is not long enough to cover your entire nail bed which that's fine you want to still make sure that you file that edge down make sure that it's smooth and then later on we'll come back in and fill in any gaps with base gel or if the gaps are big enough you can use builder gel And now here you'll see me change drill bits. I'm trying to clean up underneath my nails. And I'll be honest, today, the day that I recorded this, it just, my, I, between my left hand and the drill bits in the drill, we, the three of us just could not get along. I could not get that material underneath my nails cleaned up as well as I wanted to. I switched drill bits, looks like 37, 11 times and still couldn't get it the way I wanted to get it. So it, eventually I just gave up and that's fine. You can always come back to it another day. <laughs> so here I'm taking my base coat, uh, my builder gel and my top coat. I thought I was going to need the builder gel because I wasn't too sure how big the gaps or the dips were in my nails, but I actually did not need to use the clear builder gel. I was able to fill them in with just the base coat. So here you see me applying a thin layer of base coat and then where there are dips near my cuticle area, I'll go back in with a little drop and fill those in and cure. So that's really what you, all you wanna do. This is gonna fix if, fix if your full cover tips are not long enough for your nail beds. You can use base gel or builder gel to fill in those gaps. Once I give my base gel a full 60 second cure, now it's time to come back in with the color. This is, I know I'm talking about a lot of favorites, but this is my new favorite nude. Um, I'll leave a link to the color in the description box below. Hopefully you can still find it. Um, but this nude is so pretty to me. I only did one coat and it gave me a very nice semi-translucent look. Um, but you can also build up the layers to give it a more opaque appearance but yeah this nude is a really great nude for me like I really like this color I applied one coat cured it for 60 seconds applied my top coat cured it for 60 seconds and then repeated the process on my right hand Once my color and top coat has cured on both hands, I apply cuticle oil. Um, this is a really important step that I used to skip. Um, but cuticle oil, it serves a purpose. It really does help ensure that your nails and your cuticle stay healthy, especially if you wash your hands as many times a day as I do. 
lotion and cuticle oil are your friends um, but once I apply my cuticle oil this set is done um, I really I am I'm still wearing this nail set and I'm really loving it the nude color is just such a clean look to me and the tapered square shape is really classic it's not over the top it's really subtle a really subtle clean look which I'm thoroughly enjoying I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as share it across your social media platforms in the meantime go where you celebrate it not just tolerate it be safe bye bye